And here we go guys, thanks for tuning in to my latest racing video running my Schumacher Cat L1R supplied by Model Sport, best model shop in the UK to get all your RC gear so we're going to jump into the first race which is the B final round one at Southport Radio Control Car Club first outdoor club day of 2023 in this video there's going to be race one and race two because race two is a bit of a short one so let's see who we've got on the starting grid so we've got Mick Towsend on pole Daniel Hall second Chris Cherry third Chloe Ward fourth me fifth Mike Ward sixth Tom Clark seventh and Joe Clark eighth I'm not sure if Tom and Joe actually run in this round I know they got off early because of continuous problems with their cars but yeah hopefully we have a good race let's see how we get on right so here we go there's going to be three cars who are pretty much going to dominate it the cars in fairs second and third the rest of us are kind of just there to fill the numbers very quick drivers in this round always quick drivers in the four-wheel drive races very quick cars Hopefully we can have a good start. And off we go. Nice cleanly through the first few corners. Tango with the car there. Puts me down into the last spot. Car crashes out. So it looks like Tom and Joe are running in this race over the tabletop. Nice cleanly. With his first lap done which is a 27-28 over the chicanes on the back the car gets a bit out of shape line it up for the tabletop nice and clean back end skids out a little bit lap 2 is a 26-29 Unsettled. Fingers crossed for the tabletop, nice transition. Bit wide on that corner. That three is 25-65. Car behind is closing me down a little bit. To try and pick up the pace. Looks like someone might have pulled out. Not only is it race of skill, it's always oh, also a going? race of endurance. Oh, so lose my mojo there. Pull out onto Sorry. the street, car nearly goes into the back of me, but he sees me. It's a bit of a tangle. The ring roll out now, two minutes, three, one. Three, two, eight, four, five, six, seven. Lap five is a 29.55. That's your lap. A couple of incidents really cost me. Car behind that on the tail. Get a little bit of an advantage. Go on tidy corners. We tangle on the tabletop. Just wait for a gap. Gets past. Lap six is a 26.88. Like slow laps in this race. In the outward front, you tend to get up to speed, and if you're consistent enough, Pretty much just bring it all. Car's laughing, that's Chris Dive. Cherry. Up seven is a 2854. Fix the track! Sorry, go on. Go left the wheel, car on the side. 
Looks like someone lost the wheel, maybe. Put it over the table top. Oh, bouncing. So sometimes actually qualifying is a lot more fun chasing the clock. Finals, it's very much do or die. So lap eight is the 33-38, very slow. Chloe's almost got a half a lap advantage over me. So at this point, I was starting to have a, I started noticing a few handling issues with the car. Lap nine is a 25-23, so it just wasn't behaving how it was all day. So only in hindsight after race two when all my problems kind of like come to a head time management checking cars out after every race all learning new skills but lap 10 is a decent one 24 40. yeah so running two cars is definitely definitely enjoy it but it does take a lot of um, attention to detail, maintaining two cars, charging two sets of batteries, etc, etc, etc. So lap 11 is a 25.69. Four, else to three, one, two, three, four. So onto the results, Chris Cherry won it with 13 laps and the fastest lap of 22.63. Mick Towsend was second with 13 laps and the fastest lap of 22.51. Daniel Hall was third with 13 laps and the fastest lap of 22.69. Chloe was fourth with 12 laps and the fastest lap of 23.48. Decent run there by Chloe. I was fifth with 11 laps and the fastest lap of 24.40, so very much off the pace. Joe Clark was 6 with 8 laps and the fastest lap in 23.68. Mike Ward got 5 laps, he was in 7th with the fastest, fastest lap in 23.18. And Tom Clark was 8th who only managed 2 laps with the fastest lap at 30.29. So we pretty much finished how we started in that 5th spot. Onto the lap times. Yeah, so it kind of took me up to lap 10 to get the fastest lap of the 24.40. But all the other laps were just below the 30s. Lap 5 was a bit of a slow one. Lap 8 was an absolute shocker. But overall, happy with that. Could have done better, as always. On to the next one. So here we go, Southport Radio Control Car Club, first outdoor club day of 2023. This is the B final round two, running my Schumacher Cat L1R, supplied by Model Sport, best model shop in the UK, to get all your RC gear as far as I'm concerned. Yep, so let's see, starting grid, same as before, got Mick on pole, Daniel second, Chris Cherry third, Chloe fourth, me fifth, Mike Ward sixth, Tom Clark seventh, and Joe Clark eighth. I think Tom and Joe actually went home at this point, so they won't be taking part. But let's see what happens to make the race so short. Mark one man, please. What angles? What? No, it's not. Yeah, so a bit of banter with Reese. What's kind of like unaware to me at this point is one of the rear pins is coming out of the rear arms. It was still halfway in, but the back one of the back wheels is kind of like hanging on by one corner of the pin. So off we go. It's going to be very short. Keep it up with the pack. It's Chloe in front. Over the tabletop. Ah. And there we go, boys. 
So it sounds like the drive shafts now come out. That does. So unfortunately, that's the end of the day. So guys inside of the track trying to get a fix. I don't think they've noticed that the pin's hanging out yet. So they're doing the best to fix it. But Andy Hall, one of the um, committee members of Southport, kind of like one of the faces of Southport, always helping out new drivers. So yeah, Stu notices it. This is the wheel, and that's it, guys. So, yeah, Mick Townsend won it with 14 laps and fastest lap of 21.89. Chris Cherry was second with 13 laps and fastest lap of 22.64. Chloe Ward got third, well done, Chloe. 11 laps and fastest lap of 24.64. Daniel was fourth with four laps and the fastest lap of 22.71. I was fifth with one laps, one lap. Mike Ward didn't run. Tom Clark didn't run, and Joe Clark didn't run. So a lot of um, a lot of drivers had a lot of bad luck in that race. So on to the overall championship. Mick Towson won it, with Chris Cherry second, Daniel Hall third, Chloe fourth, me fifth, Joe Clark sixth, Mike Ward seventh, and Tom Clark eighth. So yeah, guys. That's it, the end of the day. First four wheel drive race at Southport. A lot to learn. The car handled beautifully. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I shall see you in the next one. Oh, yeah.